Hello everyone, this is Mang Sangvi from vlamon.com and I am back with another SQL Server 2014 tutorial video. And in this, we are going to learn about group by clause. So, this is the content for this video, and I already created the first part on SQL Server group by clause, and I want to show the advanced feature in the group by clause so this is the second part and in this I have to show over by clause and some ranking function and during the recording or during the creating the content for this video I thought uh, this I have to again divide this part in multiple section so this may be the second part and the remaining stuff we are going to cover in third part or maybe fourth part if required so let's start in this I have to show you where is my SQL Server Management Studio here it is so second part group by second part and in this uh, I have to show you about how to use via clause having clause what is over clause and how to use some ranking functions available in SQL Server to achieve your goals or to require result as per your expectation. Now, this is the first uh, thing I want to cover where clause and having clause. So, let's assume I have a or not assume I already have a sales order header table and I have to find the customer of year for year 2014. So, how to find this? So, let me first filter my records based on year 2014 so I I mention a where clause in which we are filtering data for order date between 1st of January 2014 to 1st of January 2015 so it will cover everything for year 2014 and I uh, customer ID is invalid select list because it is not containing either aggregate function oh, sorry guys sorry guys I want to show you this uh, I missed one query okay no issue now our record is filtered with this date right here uh, and I don't want to worry about the record of one 1st of January 2015 with this time because my table contains only data up to I think June yes so I have only data up to June in my adventure works 2014 so no need to worry about the data for this date now we got the filter data and now I have to perform submission operation on my customer ID so I created this query and in this we are performing a customer uh, sum on customer ID now I got this error message that a uh, customer ID is invalid in the select list because it is not contained in the either an aggregate function or group by clause so, okay so in this we are going to perform the same operation the same query but with group by clause now I have a grouped data for year 2015 2014 for my customers and now I have to find the customer of year uh, the customer of year 2014 is the person who made highest purchase so for this you can say that uh, order by your data with total purchase so I got this okay no issue I got the customer of the year now let me modify my scenario a little bit what if I have to say I have to give some reward points to all my customer all my customer who done purchasing more than 1,50,000 in the year of 2014 so here is the query so the this query is returning the purchase done by customer in the reverse order and finally we are using having in having clause we are saying where the 
total purchase is greater than one lakh fifty thousand, then you have to filter the data. Okay. Uh, so here is the output, and in this we are we got six rows. So we found the six customer for which I have to give special benefits or reward. So in this way you can use a having clause or whereby a where clause in your group by query. I think you are now able to understand how to use a where or having condition in your group by query. The next topic I need to cover, I want to cover is over by clause and if you noticed in my previous video, again okay, I open the query of my previous session and it is available. Yeah. Uh, sorry for the slow speed uh, because uh, my SQL server is running and also my recording software is running. In my previous video, I show you how to use some average minimum max count and all this stuff and I say I am going to use and I want to show over in the second part of the group by session but still I am not going to cover how to use over with some function or average function or minimum function I am going to cover this session or this section in the third part now in this I am just going to give the introduction on over clause and then we are going to use some functions or ranking functions such as row number, dense, rank, rank and entire. So let's understand what is over clause first. Now over clause defines a window based on the column provided by your user or provided in the query then divide those data in separate parts based on the given column and then we use ranking function to assign some values for our analysis. Okay, I think you are not able to understand it. Uh, I write a definition for the same define a window based on user column, divide data in separate parts based on the given column and then use ranking function to assign number in the partitions and ranking function ranking function is the start for each partition okay I have to show all this uh, based on the query so I think with query you are able to understand it probably for explaining all this stuff I created a product table the product table contains product name and product cost and here is the data so it will contain 700 records so I have to manually go up here so this is my product table and product table contains 701 rows and with two columns product name and product cost I don't have any row or identity column or unique number or unique row or unique column for my hash product table now let's see the count for each product for product one I have 33 rows for product 10 I have 33 rows and product 11 and so on now I want to achieve a scenario I have to assign a unique number for each record okay uh, leave this I have to assign a unique number for each rows so how to achieve this scenario I am going to use row number with my over clause okay what is the syntax here is the syntax for over by clause you can use over by clause and then you can define the partition partition I think I spell it correct partition by column name and then you have to define a, hmm. then you have to define the order of this partition and then you have to define uh, give the column name A C and T E S A. 
so this is the syntax for our and then you have to use a ranking function here and this is your select from table name I think you are able to understand the syntax and let's use this syntax in our real queries so this query is going to order my contents based on product name and product cost and then assign a unique number for each row so let's execute this so for product ID and product cost I got a unique number so if you noticed here we have 701 rows so as per logic this must contain 700 unique row number I think the row number for lost is 701 so we achieved our scenario to assign a unique number for each row. Now, in our first query, our first row number query, we sort our data based on product number and product cost. What if I am going to sort only on product name? So let's execute both this query. And if you see my first table order by product name and product cost and my second query is only ordered by product name and same thing here you can also change the order based on your columns so in this I am ordering everything based on product cost and what if you have to change the order in descending you have to use DESC key and if you attended my order by session then you are aware that ascending is the default key for order if you are not mentioning anything then ascending is the default order okay uh, I think I showed how to use order by and now what if you want to assign a unique number in product groups let's say I have two products okay, product one product product one and let me copy everything inside this so product one I have let's say cost 100 product one cost 200 product two 300 and product 200 in our this four queries we are just assigning row number to every records so let's say this product 1 product 2 product 3 and product 4 this is the scenario for this four query now I want to assign a unique number within the group and the group is going to define my product name how to achieve this scenario uh, in this you have to define a partition for your rows and in this we are defining the partition of rows based on the product name and then we are performing a order on product cost so let's execute this query and let execute both this query uh, let uh, me execute this first and then we are going to compare the result now my product one contains 33 records and all this product or product cost is assigned with a unique number and for the next group the row number is started with one so this is the benefit of uh, row number and this is the use of over mm, so let me go back up and now read my definition again define a windows based on user column divide data in separate parts
based on the column so this is my partition based on the column and then use ranking function to assign number in the partition oh, sorry for the delay okay now my laptop is again on charging no issue uh, where we are okay we are explaining this so what we got here define a window based on user corner uh, users column divide data in separate parts so d we are dividing uh, data based on the product name in different partition and then we are assigning a number in the partitions using row number okay and the ranking function is restarted for each partition so let's say this is my first part or first partition of uh, product one and in this we got row number from 1 to 3 and for the next partition again my row number is started with 1 so my row number is restarted I think everything is clear uh, in the definition so let's compare the output of this query and this query now in this my everything is sorted based on product cost and then we assigned a unique number to each row and the second query in the second query we define a partition based on product name and in this partition we sort the data based on the product cost and after the sorting we assigned a unique number to each row okay if you are still having any confusion leave a comment I will try to explain this in any other uh, with any other example now what is the benefit or what we are going to achieve using this ranking function or over by clause now if you want to answer how to get the third costliest product in your product list then how you are going to answer okay I know I can use maximum function to get the maximum value available for any product now I want third costliest product in my product table for this you have to use this in this we are assigning or everything we are order everything based on product cost and then we are using order number and if you notice now I have data is sorted based on product cost so I can easily answer that the row number where row number is equal to 3 then this is the third costliest product available in my product list or product table and let me quickly create a another example product table hash table underscore 2 in this I want a product name product name is 10 and I want product cost product cost as a in let me create this and I want to insert into insert into this and I want values let's say product 1 and the cost is 100 product 2 the again cost is 100 product 3 cost is 100 okay, and product 4 and product 5 give it something else so let's say 90 now my table 2 contains 
product name and product cost with duplicate values now how our ranking function we have in this scenario so let me copy this and now my table name is table 2 and I have product cost product name product cost okay I think everything is correct nothing is wrong okay this is just because of this this and now you see again for duplicate recalls I got a unique value but it is little bit or you don't are not able to say that this is the correct value so for this scenario uh, we are going to cover this in the letter in this video okay no issue and you have to write a query to get the third costliest product or the tenth costliest product you can leave your query in the comment section we can discuss it later now the row number okay I already used the row number and now it's time to define what is the functionality of the row number the row number is used to generate an auto increment number based on the sorting order the next function we are going to use is the rank and dense rank now what is the use of rank and dense rank both the function used to assign a rank based on the competing value within the given number or given window okay uh, let me show or let me explain these two function based on the SQL query again I created a temporary table and in this I am inserting I am inserting product with duplicate uh, uh, with product cost and if you think uh, if you s able to see the cost is same for various product okay I think uh, here we are going to cover this scenario okay, no issue so let me show you the records for my product table and this is the record and I have some duplicate values in case of cost not duplicate uh, I have different product with same cost okay now here is the syntax for the rank function uh, let me copy okay I think here it is again my rank is a ranking function so I am able to use this syntax and I am using the same syntax so in street or in this place of ranking function we are using rank function so select rank over order by product cost and I want the order of product calls in descending order product name and product cost let's execute this query and here is the output so my cost is ordered by uh, my output is ordered by product cost and for this I think this three product are with highest product cost so for all this product I got a rank of 1 and for the fifth record I got product 14 with product cost 400 and from the fifth record I am getting value 5 and again for sixth value I got rank is fifth and from the seventh record I am getting the rank is 7 uh, you are not able to understand it properly or you are not able to get proper result if you want to say I want to find all the product with second highest product cost in my product table so if you want to achieve those scenario then you have to use dense rank function now what is the difference between dense rank function and rank function 
here is the difference let me execute this both query okay the first column contains rank and the second column contains tens rank function in case of rank if I'm going to give a rank to each row based on some criteria in this we are assigning rank based on the product cost so if this three product is in the first position in the hierarchy or the table then the rank function is going to assign rank 1 now from the fifth record actually if I say the all this record must contains rank 2 but in case of rank function it will assign the rank based on the based on the number of records he assigned previously so let's say if my for rank 1 I got 10 records then the 11th record rank is 11 and if the 11 and 12th record uh, share the same rank then this 2 contains the rank 11 and 11 and from the 13th row the rank is 13 so uh, this is not the best way to find the second highest salary or second costliest product in my database table to find the exact thing we have to use dense rank function so in this we are getting the correct rank for each product based on the cost price okay I think I am able to explain it this properly and you are able to understand what is rank function or what is dense rank function and you are able to answer the difference between ranks and uh, rank and dense rank now a small assignment for you guys you can download or the get the sample data from my blog you have to just search um, how to remove duplicates duplicate custom search and SQL server remove duplicate and then you have to find second find the second highest salary no, I don't want to open this in new window I want to open this in new tab now the first assignment you have to write a query to remove duplicates here is I already explained the concept but please don't see the concept you have to only copy all this stuff and then you have to write a query to remove duplicates if you noticed I inserted in some duplicate records in color table and you have to remove all these duplicate records and in the final output I only want one black uh, a row for each color and the second assignment is equals or find second highest salary in this you have to copy this and then you have to find the second highest salary available in the employer table okay I think we are done with rank and dense rank function and finally we are going to use entile function okay now what is the use of entire function entire function is entire function is used to divide your records in let's say equal number of rows so if I say I want to uh, sorry uh, let me define it again entire is used to divide rows in tiles based on the given number so if I say I want to divide my all rows in hundred parts then entire function is going to divide your each rows or all the rows in hundred parts if your table contain hundred records then 
for each tile or each partition you got one record and if your table contains 102 or let's say 200 then each tile contains two rows and if your table contains 115 okay 120 rows then up to 20 rows you got maybe three records oh, sorry two records and for remaining tiles you for remaining 80 tiles you got one rows for each tile so let's read the definition of n tile organize the rows in different group called tiles and assign a number for each tile starting from one and return the tile number okay uh, let me show this with an uh, example now I created a sample data and the sample data contains for how many times the particular product is sell during uh, invoice generation so if you say my product ID is sell 3083 times okay now I have to find the most sell product then I can use divide my product or sales count divide my product or this data in 100 parts and I'm going to order by sales count okay let's execute this and if you say then you can say this two product is the highest selling product in my product table let me order this once more based on my sales count and I want it in descending order so you can say that this two product is the most selling product in my product table or in my products and you can say all these are the other group which are the most selling product in my product table mm, now if you notice my product sales contain 266 rows and as I mentioned here okay I deleted those things okay as I mentioned that if your table contains 110 records then first 10 records contains data our first 10 tiles contains two rows and remaining 90 tiles contains one row so let me show it here I have 26 266 rows and I am dividing this in 100 so each tile must contain two rows and the first 66 tiles contains one extra row so let me show this here and if you see my hundred tile contains two product and my first tile contains three product okay and you are going to see the same behavior up to 66th tile here it is the 66 tile contain three records or three rows and my 67 tiles contain two records or two rows I think okay uh, I covered everything for this part or for this video if you are still struggling for something or you are not able to understand anything in this video just leave a comment I will try to explain it in some other way if you like this video and if you think your friends got some benefit by watching this video feel free to share don't forget to subscribe and see you guys in my next video